Abstergo recovers Desmond's corpse and uses its genetic memories as a resource for its new Abstergo Entertainment Development Studio in Montreal. Yes, the Sample 17 project. What did they do with his body? They took it away, they took samples of DNA, like saliva and blood and such, but... What did, they, what did they do with the rest of him? Do they still have it? Did they just dump it? <sighs> it's horrible not knowing. I have 11 skill points. Okay, well let's go ahead and use them, shall we? Okay, you gain health. That would actually be very useful. Impaled enemies take more time to collapse. What's this one? If he sees a frightened enemy. That'll help tremendously, but it is six points. Enemies in the center of the explosion instantly get frightened, even if they were calm. Ooh, that sounds good. I like that. Okay, and I can buy one more. Screams will last longer, or... Oh, that's the only one I can get. Alright, then. The Torturer. Good god. Okay, I need three more skill points in order to buy anything else. Oh, wait, wait! Inventory. I got that new firearm for failing at that assassination attempt. What is this? Templar shootout? Master Templars covet this supreme shooter. Trying is believing. Sure. Okay, I have a new pistol. Awesome. Haven't used the pistol yet in this DLC. But, um, what was I gonna- right. I was gonna save up my money to get a new gauntlet. I still don't have enough. Okay. I need 12,000 for the Velvet Glove? I think is what it's called? Well, shit! Alright, here we go. I can't fucking move! Shivering me from the inside out, this DLC is. <laughs> fucking Yoda, apparently. ACHIEVEMENT! The new terror of Whitechapel. Unlock 50% of the skills. Well, it's about time you showed me that. <laughs> cool, but a little delayed. Is that a chest I saw behind me? Because I kind of want it. Oh. Oh, no, that's a policeman. Not gonna bother him. Ooh, that music. Reminds me of Revelations music, kind of. I thought I saw something glowing back here. Aha! I did. Give me chest. There. And actually, I want to craft some more spikes. Just because. So many people. Hi! Wait, what? Oh, I don't think I was supposed to go this way. Excuse me. Well, they won't hurt me if they don't see me doing anything illegal. I guess that's fair. <laughs> the mother of all co Mary Jane Kelly. Oh my god. Holy shit. All right. Oh, that reminds me of the murder mystery in uh, Unity, uh, the one that Marquis de Sade is involved with. You damn monster! Oi! You're not allowed in here. Evie, get a hold of yourself. Go, go, out. Who's gonna Richie, smack me on the back of me quickly? Tell you, by what right? I am an officer of the law. I am not a member of your secret organization. Listen to me, Jacob. Knows no, you listen to me. I cannot cover for you much longer. All the evidence points to your brother, your order, you. You need to deliver the Ripper's head on a spike soon, or I'm afraid there'll be nothing to stop my men from arresting you in his stead. Well, then, help me! You'll have his head, even if it costs me mine. All right, time to investigate another murder scene. This is going downhill really quick. By far the youngest at 25. Miss Kelly was found dead here at 10.45 this morning. Her throat had been cut, and her whole head and body mutilated in a fashion which defines the word hideous. Alright, 25? She's only three and a half years older than me. Uh, he removed her organs, her heart, her dignity. You want me to see you as she did? Imagine the terror she felt. Do you hurt women just to prove you're a man, Jack? This is horrific, revolting. There are no words to describe the savagery displayed here. Whoa! Oh god. What does that say? What does it say? 
I can't read it from here. I'm not even sure if that's English. All right, here's a bunch of blood. That is a lot of blood. The blood stain has a straight edge on one side, suggesting that an object blocked the spatter. An object? The door? <gasps> oh, the door was moved. I can't make sense of these markings from this position. There's blood on the door and a strange symbol that resembles the one above the body. The police must have moved the door when they arrived on the scene. Well, they had to get in, didn't they? Okay, I have to move the door in a correct position. Right about... Oh! Th there. Okay. Oh, there's the rest of it. Okay. And there. What's this? Jack must have left these markings for me. My gift to you is death. Oh, you and more to come, unless you do as Jack says. Follow the trail of blood through the looking glass. Jack wants me to return to the scene of his first crimes. I will do as I you say, have. Jack, until I find you and send you to your own special hell. What did you discover? A message for me. I didn't investigate the monster is going to lead Sorry. me right to him, Inspector. I must return to the locations of the Ripper's first crimes. Don't let your fury blind you, Miss Fry. I would not lose you, too. So if I do me, die, Inspector, I will take the Ripper with me. Annie Chapman was well, murdered near a cemetery in Whitechapel. Oh, murdered near a cemetery. That's not terrifying. Annie Chapman. Alrighty, let's go visit her. See, Ned. I didn't investigate the kettle. Sorry. I don't think it was important, obviously, because otherwise I would have needed to inspect it. I'm bet I, I want to think a piece of Eden has something to do with this. Maybe Jack was exposed to one and it made him go fucking insane. I don't know. The um, Bonfire of the Vanities DLCs sequences 12 and 13? I think. Um, that involved a piece of Eden. And then the Dead Kings, that involved a piece of Eden, the, the, the head of Saint Denis. And now this, I just, I assume. Maybe they found something horrible in the Temple of Kali in India or something. I don't fucking know. I'm going to have to scare off this lot if I want to investigate in peace. I'm going through the tree. Um, I, I read the Brahmin graphic novel, and it was good, but the end when um the princess like used she like activated the diamond or something it was it was kind of it was weird spooky scary okay continue your investigation don't kill anyone well i i can just scare them yes let me try out my new thing if they're at the center of the blast they'll be frightened immediately ha Whoa! No, don't calm them down! Keep your wig on. <laughs> we'll have another one then! Crime scene. Okay, I think I'm in the clear, so let's go ahead and Someone's start investigating. The Ripper's first strike did not kill her outright. It was a deep wound that bled profusely. This is so twisted. I'm glad I had a small breakfast this morning. Footsteps this way. Here. Wow. This is where Jack ripped the life from Miss Chapman's breast. The second victim of his hideous crimes. The Ripper he wounded her again her. here. So where is the ring? She lost a lot of blood, but the injuries were still not fatal. Jack let her flee, only to hunt her down again and again, prolonging her agony. Fuck. This is like some criminal mind shit. Second strike, abundant old blood stain, spatter from many deep cuts. More blood spatter, blood spatter. She ran away. More blood. Where does it lead? The footsteps suggest that she turned around here, and given the amount of blood lost, she paused for a moment before fleeing again. Did she stop to face Jack, or to find some place to hide a clue? Oh, she turned back to hurl something. 
I assume I'll need to investigate the trajectory in a second. More blood spatter. God, so much blood in this all from one person. A third powerful strike, which still did not slay her instantly. Jack must have relished her terror as she watched her life slip Damn away. It. Yet another one. Oh. Dude, these are like the uh the 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 Q QR codes from Watch Dogs. You gotta like back up and align it. Oh, maybe not. See so, eh? huh? Maybe I'm wrong. But I found more blood. More blood? Fuck me. She fell here, exhausted, terrified, and alone. There was no merciful final blow. Jack must have watched as her life drained away in a pool of blood. Her assassin ring must be here somewhere. Hey, no, don't kill anyone. Reach the origin of the throw. When she hurled something over here, yes. This is, like, some fucking criminal mind shit. I used to watch that show all the time, but I stopped because it, it just got too twisted for me. Well, it must have bounced off the wall there. Perfect. Okay. There's the ring. Oh, you fucker! No! God damn it! Piece of shit! Fucking birds! I hate birds! My ring! You can't even wear that! Your toes are too small! Ah, damn it. I went the wrong way. Oh, bird's nest. Who do you need a ring for a bird's nest for? You feed it to your kids, they die. Dumb fuck. Climb up this way. Maybe, if Evie wants to. You can get up there. There's a good girl. Then you go up that way. Okay. Jack next. wanted to be sure I'd find these rings. Found it. The raven has left the ring in his nest. Okay, good. I got it back. Decipher Jack's message. Okay. Here we go a fucking again. Ugh. I I mean, this DLC's great, okay? Don't get me wrong. It's really good. I'm invested in the story. It's very engrossing and very immersive. But fuck, man. The worst part is that this man actually existed and did stuff like this. Of course, I don't know why it should surprise me. But there What we go. kind of creed cannot protect its own? This message was intended first for my brother. Catherine Eddowes was murdered in a small square close to the train tracks. Catherine Eddowes. Okay. Jake has been missing for a month. A month! Four weeks! In the hands of a merciless serial killer that does not make me feel good. Can I use the rope launcher, please? Thank you. Here's my oh shit. Ah! <laughs> he wants to get up on my lap. You're too big to be a lap dog, Robbie. You're too big. I need puppy therapy after that shit. <laughs> I think I've made a friend. <laughs> I think he I think he sensed my distress. Now he's coming over here to make me feel better. <laughs> well it's working. It's working. You're so good. <laughs> Face full of hair. Give me a hug. Give me a hug, my boy. Catherine Eddowes. Oh, there's so many people there. Why are there so many people here? Me. I volunteer as tribute. The poor residents of Whitechapel from this assassin. What has the government done? I need to clear everybody out of here. Let us demand the closure of all wicked houses of sin and impurity huh? in our city. We shall Hi. petition our most gracious I don't want to. I don't want to do this to a policeman. But what if our petition falls on deaf ears? Don't look at me. Who will avenge the blood of these unfortunate victims? Can I say I we must find the location the where Jack murdered his other victim. She was found here on her back Who with her throat slit and me? one ear cut off. Months Van Gogh? Ago, her intestines had been drawn out and displayed by some fiendish design. Oh my god! And the Ripper comes free. Who will catch him? You can stop repeating yourself. What are the police doing to protect the poor residents of Whitechapel from this assassin? What has the I suppose I can done? just leave the civilians. They won't bother me. Let that is a lot of blood. 
And as was backed to the wall here, bleeding profusely, Jack's cut was deep, perhaps to the abdomen. Oh, oh, oh. I hate reading this stuff because, you know, the way your brain works. Like what they say in Inception, I tell you not to think about elephants, what do you think about? Elephants. So, you read about this stuff, it's like it just shows up in your head, even if you don't want it to. Bloodstains and hampers suggest that Miss Eddowes was fleeing on her hands and knees. Okay. No! I don't- No! I'm not gonna hurt you guys. I can't hurt you, though. Whoa! Get the fuck out of here! Oh, wow. <laughs> he frightened himself just by seeing the fly. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, get the fuck out of here. I'm trying to catch the Ripper. Why would you try and stop me? Okay, they're not going to bite me if they're friends. Let me just keep looking. Where does it lead? She jumped over these crates with Jack on her heels. Her wounds were not so deep as to prevent escape yet. These are assassins. I mean, these assassins, they don't fear death. You know, Jack makes them fear death. In fact, it makes them paralyzed You murdered paralyzed every assassin my brother turned against you and your insane creed. The amount of blood lost suggests that Jack cut Lizzie Stride's throat here, killing her instantly. Kate Eddowes had time to flee. So it wasn't about terrorizing Lizzie, it was about terrorizing Kate. Need four more clues. God, so much fucking blood. Hello, officer. Blood splatter. <laughs> Graceful one, aren't you? Small droplets of blood, but not from the fight. The spatter may come from a small blood-covered object ah, thrown from this position. Okay. Minor blood loss. This woman's still here. Brave soul. I can inspect this, yes? Blood splatters. Okay. This spatter is too small to have come from the victim's wounds. The droplets nearest the haystack are barely visible, suggesting a blood-covered object may have rolled or bounced here from another location. Is it in the haystack? Just two more. Pardon me, madam. This is where Miss Eddowes breathed her last. Humiliated and degraded by Jack. He wanted to punish my brother. Jack ended Miss Eddowes' agony here, throwing her to the ground to perform his macabre ritual mutilations. Well, there's part of it. Where's the rest of it? Thrown to the ground, yeah. Killed her here, threw her over, and then just tore her apart. Ugh. Hey, that's... I still... I'm still missing a clue. I should follow these traces. What do you think I'm doing? She leaped over that wall in a desperate attempt to flee the Ripper. Her assassin ring must be here somewhere. I'm inspecting. I think. Yeah, I'm right on top of it. Oh, there we go. I, I do do it manually. Okay. Ah, fuck. There goes my- I need to shut that off. Okay. Pick up the ring. Poof! Is it in here? Oh, I guess I have to actually get out and inspect it. Damn it! <laughs> no use poking around the edges. This is going to require a closer look. What do you mean? What do you mean? A closer look? So, okay, wait, hold on. Now you're saying I have to get in? Her assassin ring must be here somewhere. Oh, come on! I did this already. Well, that looks a little wrong, two doesn't it? <laughs> rings. Jack murdered two women here. Two of Jacob's initiates. Well, yeah, Lizzie and Kate. They're both here. Okay. Whoa. Okay, I know where I have to go. It's at the bottom of the stairs. You're lucky I'm not actually the Ripper, otherwise you'd be so fucking dead by now. Do I have to... Oh no, I do have to get all the way down! And...
and hold on. I need to back up a little bit more. There we go. <sighs> How many more must die before you see the truth? P.S. Your brother didn't listen, so I gave him a double lesson. No. Your crew failed them as it failed my mother. Your mother? Jack lived around here with his mother as a boy. That's where he's leading me. For Jack, only his mother's death counts as murder. What happened? Of course, it's mommy issues. What else should I expect? Who was his mother? I guess I'll find out, maybe. Yeah, that's the one at the beginning. How many more must die before you see the truth? And the, the thing that Jack said, uh, Jacob, excuse me, that Jacob said that absolutely haunts me was when he read that message and it said, how many more must die before you see the truth? And he says, only one more, Jack. What is this place? What does that the mean? The didn't murder anyone here. Does that mean? I, 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 I'm assuming, oh, what if he's talking about himself? Jack's mother's murder scene. Um, what? Oh, shit! Don't be scared, Evie. It's what he wants. Do not fear him. Ooh. Well, there's part of it. I have him! He's behind you! Hi, Scarecrow. I was born here. Survived the madhouse and learned from the best. Until he betrayed me. Come test your creed against mine. To Jacob the murder of Jack's mother marks the day that the Ripper was born. And he blames my brother. Blames the Creed for failing them. What happened? What's happening to me? I don't... Oh, I oh, oh, oh my. Oh, oh my. Oh my! By his treachery. Oh God! He's inside my head. Yeah, he is! Get out! Sterics, man. Where was he when he dragged me to the madhouse? Oh, so that's what's Am I losing my mind? No, no, you're not. What kind of creep cannot protect its own? Come here, you. I'm not afraid of you. That's what. I'm afraid of being you, but I'm not afraid of you. Ow! Oh, I can't, I can't. Oh, shit, okay. He saw something. But I... Sorry, no, I didn't finish please, that. Please. Whoa, whoa. The madhouse. Lambeth Asylum. Oh great! Jack lures me through the looking glass. I get to I get to go back there. Fucking brilliant. Well, that oh, oh the mother of all crimes. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> Well, that was very good. As a fan of crime shows, that was very good. Just very twisted. Oh, oh, great! And it puts me in... What? Okay. Back to Lambeth. Let's go. Uh-oh. Oh, look who's done it now! 